Okay, Chris, this is for you. I had to use this program for a reason, and I haven't used it in a while, and I knew that you couldn't figure it out. This is a super simple program, and I want to make sure that you understand it. It's very quick. It's very powerful. Um, I watermark. So this is your main interface. You'll notice there's these tabs, filter, saving, resizing, and thumbnails. Okay? Before you do anything, make sure you uncheck anything up here. Make sure everything's unchecked. Advanced, you can read that. I've never really used it. IPTC, you can actually put information into the photo. Uh, I simply have my copyright information. So on the main side, you'll notice it's very simple. There's nothing much here. So they want folders. Which folders do you want to change? You know, what pictures do you want to change? So I'm gonna drag that folder over here. And then where do you want those pictures to go after you make the change? I'm going to put it here. So now I have two different folders. One has 44 items in it and the other has nothing. And then I particular, I look at the common tasks and I know that I'm going to watermark my images and I'm going to convert the images. I don't need thumbnails, so I'm going to uncheck that. I've already made sure that these are all unchecked, so I'm good there. So now I'm going to go, okay, I need to, what do I want to do? when I convert the images. So I'm going to go up here and I'll say, well, when I, when I convert these images, I want to resize them to 1200. You can change that right here, or you can use the drop down and change it here. And I want to resample them, and I'm going to do a higher resampling than 72. You have 72, 96, 144, and 360. So I'm going to choose that, and then upon saving, I could change, I want 100% here. Let's go ahead and make this 80. And that's going to reduce my file size. I'm not going to rename the files. I'm going to uncheck that. You always have to remember to change this every time you do it to whatever you want. So I have no filter. I know that I'm going to do it at 80% you know, quality or 80 quality. I know that I'm going to resize them. And I'm going to resa resample them from 300 to 96. Thumbnails I don't need, so we're going to go back here, and the only thing is I want to watermark my images. Now you see if I click this, just convert, it's actually this tab right here, so it takes you right to it. I want to watermark my images, so I'm going to go to the watermark, I'm going to edit it. Um, I, You can see I already have an image here, so in general, let's go ahead and take the image, and we're going to take the image off. No, cancel. We're just going to take the image off. So now we're starting out with nothing like you have, right? So in general, you know, you'll see that there's a scale here. Let's just do text. And I apply it. And I can't even see it. I'm like, what is up with that? But it's only 13 point. Let's go up to a high point of 144. Let's see what happens. 144, look at it. There it is. Now what if I went, you can tell, you can go through... If you go too small, I can't even see it. And the reason is because the photo is really big. So in general, let's go 100% and see what that looks like. That's all the way across the board. Now you see how the, the text deteriorates. That's because it's trying to force it bigger than it is because the photo is so big. So even at 144 point, it's not enough to fill the photo, but we're telling it to fill the photo. So if you come down a little bit, you'll see that the quality will get better on the... See that? It's starting to get nice and clear. So let's go ahead and stick with 50%. We'll go ahead and you can move it anywhere you want. You can put it all over the picture right here. I like mine in the center. I'm going to leave it right there. I can offset it, which means I can raise it up a little bit. I can put it all the way up to the center if I want. And this will go for text or anything that you put in here, right? So that looks about right, but guess what? I don't want text. And apply, so I want text, I want an image. And I find that it will never let me drag in here like it says, so I just double click it and it'll give me what I want. So I'm just gonna open up my logo, put my logo in there, and just picture, just text. If you have this check, you'll never see it because it's saying just text, no picture. You just put just picture here, it'll come up. And it looks pretty big there, so you can even add a background, right? 
And then you can do a trans you can do transparency on the background, pretty cool. Or you can do effects. So I can engrave it. I can shadow it. I can outline it. I can emboss it. Inverse is pretty cool. You can also do that to the text. So I'm just going to put none. Go back to general. And I want to change this. Let's go down to 33, a little bit smaller. That's nice. I kind of look the, I like the where it is in the photo as far as the offset goes. So I'm going to leave it there. And now I'm set. So let's go back over here. I know that I'm going to check here. No filter. Saving it. I'm going to save it at 80. I'm going to resize it at 1200. 96 DPI. I don't need thumbnails. We're ready to go. And now all we do is hit start processing and you'll see the little blue bar right here. When it's done, I can simply leave here, take the whole thing out, and you can see in Tom's Picks FX, here they all are, and you'll notice they have the watermark on them. Let's take a look and see what they look like. Ta-da! This was a fun skydive. They love dressing up in costumes. The color is really great for photos. It's a lot better than black. <laughs> Boom. Can't really get any closer than that. Yay. Yay. Look at that face. There you go. That's how you that's how you use iPhoto. You can actually change all the names real quick. It's pretty amazing. You know, that's that's you just gotta make sure that when you use iWatermark that you change all the settings. And that's it. I hope that helps.